Hello, it's Thursday morning and welcome to the Wake Up. Today we are looking at hibernation, specifically the mysterious changes in metabolism and body temperature which occur in some animals when their environment is no longer hospitable. This curious cycle is another reminder of an idea that's so important to mindfulness, impermanence. That is, that everything is always changing, in our bodies, in our minds, and in the world around us. But first, let's center ourselves with five cleansing breaths. Welcome back. Unlike cold-blooded animals, like turtles or frogs, warm-blooded animals, or endotherms, are not dependent on the sun's heat or the temperature of the air to function. Instead, they generate body heat by consuming food which is turned into energy. The only drawback is finding food requires energy, so when it's scarce, it makes sense for an endotherm to save as much energy as it can. Some animals do this on a daily basis, by dropping their metabolic rate and temperature to conserve energy, becoming inactive for the rest of the day. This is called torpor. For small animals, like hummingbirds, which lose heat quickly, they go into a torpor at night, while they also hide from predators. Other animals, like ground squirrels, hedgehogs, and bears, do this for weeks and sometimes months at a time. This is the type of torpor we know as hibernation. For most of them, hibernation is triggered by seasonal changes, and their bodies prepare for it in advance by either collecting food or by eating large amounts to store as body fat. Other animals, like the black-tailed prairie dog, only enter hibernation when they are either deprived of food, stressed by cold, or both, as often occurs in winter. During torpors, an animal's breathing and heart rates dramatically decline, as does its body temperature, sometimes getting close to the ambient temperature of the den, burrow, or nest they're resting in. These lengthy periods of torpor, though, can be interrupted by periodic arousals during which an animal's heart and respiratory rates rise and its body temperature is restored to more normal levels. Why each arousal occurs is unclear, but it is soon followed by another lengthy period of torpor. After what may be several months of reduced activity, when the surrounding temperatures begin to rise and its food sources reappear again, each animal emerges from its hibernating state and begins to function with a metabolism appropriate for the new season. The colder temperatures will surely arrive once more. And while other animals migrate to more temperate regions, the animals capable of hibernating can stay at home, safe and sound, until warmer weathers come again. Thank you for watching today. Tune in next Thursday when we'll examine how water becomes a swirling snowflake.